Welcome to Cooking with Sips. My name's Joe. Thanks for joining us. So tonight, we have something that uh, is gonna be very interesting. And I think you're gonna like it a lot. Tonight, we're gonna cook up something traditional as a cheeseburger, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit and make it something very unique. And it's absolutely gonna be amazing. So here we go. So I've already got a few things going here. I took a cheeseburger, I took ground beef, and I put it in a long, uh, like, a, um, like a cookie pan, if you will. After I mixed all my amazing ingredients together, and I can give you those, I flattened it out, cut it in half, and put it in a pan, and cooked it on both sides, just like you would a cheeseburger. Then I went ahead and baked a, a loaf of bread, this is French bread, and I melted provolone on top of that. This is provolone cheese. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna restart this now again. I've already had it off, just warm in there. This is provolone cheese on both sides. And uh, that's my bread, okay? So here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna take the bread, and I'll bring it over to you so you can see it. We're gonna take the bread here, and we're gonna take these burgers off here. Oh, 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 oh man. Actually, before we even drop the burgers down, I wanna throw this down first. This is bacon. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And I've already, <clears throat> excuse me, I've already cooked my bacon. How I cook my bacon is I bake it. I bake it about 350, 375. Nothing too hot. Nice crispy bacon, look at, boom, look at, bam. You want it just a nice and break, break real easy. All right, so I'm just putting a nice little layer of bacon here. All right, now I'm gonna come over with my burger. Here we go. Oh. Oh, mm -mm -mm. there it is. All right, and my other one. Okay, here she comes. I'll turn her this way. Oh boy, look at that, yes. All right, so I got cheese, bacon, burger. Now I'm gonna come over, this is already, this is still going actually. Onions, mushrooms. <clears throat> we got mushrooms and onions. You can use whatever you want. I like a little mushroom and onion here. I'm cooking in a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, all right? We're gonna come right over top of that. Oh boy, look at this. Look at this. This is gonna be good here. Okay, this is hot. This is real hot now. So you gotta be careful when you put it on. I let it just fall off the, uh, my flipper here. Just let it fall right off. Just let it fall off. Oh. And for mushrooms, I got portobello mushrooms. And for my onion, I've got a nice sweet Vidalia onion. There we go. Look at that. Nice little layer here. Okay. Clean up down here. All right. Let's bring it right up here. And we're just going to level this out a little bit because this is a... Look at that. I'm going to level this out. And you can use whatever you want. You like jalapenos? You know, I do too. Um, but I don't want to blow everybody out here, okay? I'm just evening that out. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna come over top of that. A little bit of American cheese, of course. Right on top, right on top. Let's just put that bad boy right on top. Let's, let's square them out. I like the squares, okay. There we go, ooh, there's a thick piece. One more piece there. All right, right in the middle there. All right, that's nice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the oven for just a few minutes, just so we can get a nice little melt on that. The pepper, or the uh, onions and the mushrooms are hot, but we want this nice melted on top. So we're just gonna give it two minutes. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Cooking with Sips. I'm Joe. Tonight we've got special, oh, what I call sub burger. We got a sub burger going on. This, this is actually pretty heavy now. All right, so what I did is I just put it back in. I'm turning my oven off. I've got my provolone, I've got my burger, that's been seasoned already, and I've already, I'll show you again how I, how I uh, season my meat. Kind of do it a little bit like a meatball, it's amazing. And then I got the mushrooms, I got the onions, and I got American cheese on top. <clears throat> now we're gonna come back, and we are, we're gonna throw a little bit of mayonnaise on here. But before I do that, let me go ahead and get my lettuce down. So here's some lettuce right here. I just cut up some lettuce, I'm just putting a little bit, little bit of lettuce on here. So bringing some greens in here, a little crunch. <clears throat> All right, now we'll come up a little bit of 
a little bit of mayo here. Just a nice little layer of mayonnaise. Front and back, maybe one down the middle. A little bit. Okay? And then on top of that mayonnaise, we'll bring in the pepper. You know we bring the pepper whenever it comes to mayonnaise. Yup, it sure do. All right, we're almost ready to we're almost ready to get this baby finished. Okay, now we're gonna nice layer of tomatoes. Here we go. Perfect, just enough. Look at that. Okay, there it is. There we go. And I like to come over just a little dash of pepper. You know, pepper on the tomatoes. I know they're gonna come together, but. It's nice to have them together, all right? So here we go. We got it. We got the, the burger sub here. Um, this thing is gonna be incredible. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna push it down here and we're gonna push it down and we're actually gonna try to fold this bad boy over. This is gonna be very interesting because this is, this is quite the sizable burger here, okay? Oh man, look at this. Oh mama. Oh boy, coming in. We're gonna turn it, there we go, there we go. There it is, there it is. Oh boy, there it is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. losing some off the back. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this burger looks like. There we go. Cheeseburger sub. <laughs> Let's dig into this bad boy. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Till next time, check us out on YouTube, on Facebook, at Cooking with Sips. Have a good night.